All right, what is going on, boys? Um, this is Xbox Gaming here. Uh, this video today, I'm going to be talking about how uh, we got scammed, or we almost got scammed yesterday when we were looking at a car or a truck from my buddy. Okay, so this all happened. Oh, sorry, I'm just trying to make sure this hat is straight. Okay, and uh, so what happened was yesterday, uh, my buddy is wanted to buy a truck. He's been looking into trucks recently. And he found this this power truck that he really liked, and uh, for the price and the miles and stuff, it was a good price. Whatever. So we travel about an hour and a half, hour and forty five minutes away to go look at this guy. Was was this truck? You know, we got there, we looked at it, we started up, we started right up just fine. You know, no bugs, it sounded good. Um, you know, we we took it for a test drive, and uh, we drove it. And we were going out of this subdivision. He lived in this pretty nice subdivision, and we pulled out of it, and then we went on the road, and uh, and it, was, it shifted from first to second, right? And when it first, when it shifted, it had like a huge thump, like it shook us, like it was a, like a hard shift. And then my buddy's like, "What the hell was that?" You know? And the guy's like, "Oh, that's the thickum, whatever. That's uh, something with the fuel, whatever. I'm not sure what the fuck the thickum is, okay?" And um, he's like, "Okay." Oh, yeah, it's just a thick, um, you know, when you go into second gear, you got to let the, the gas a little bit from the first gear. And we're like, okay, we shouldn't have to fucking do this whatsoever. And he kept on saying, you know, don't worry about it. It's just a thick, um, it's only like a $300 fix, whatever. And yeah, we we'll just keep, yeah. And, you know, we test, we test drove it. It sounded nice. You know, it rode, other than that, it rode smoothly. You know, it sounded good. Um. Uh, it was just it just felt nice okay we thought it felt nice we thought it was good and we got back to the subdivision you know my buddy was driving I'm sitting in the back seats and I'm sitting here like you know on my phone or whatever while we're taking it for a test drive and that thumb hit me I was like oh shit this is about to be a piece of shit so we get back you know and when we're you know we're pulling in we pull into this little parking spot whatever and he's like just keep the truck running and then my buddy actually turns it off and he's like the guy's like huh oh so well right and then I was wondering why he said keep the truck running, but anyway, and uh, you know we talk they t they talk prices and stuff. You got to go down a little bit, talk prices, and then the guy, you know, um, you know they made a deal. They shook hands, and my buddy's like, so yeah, the title, and the guy's like, oh, I I totally forgot about this. Um, he, you know he this guy's a mechanic too, so he sounds a truck but doesn't know, he doesn't have the freaking title on him. The guy's like, all right, um, give me like an hour, an hour and a half to go look for the title. It's in a pile of papers or something. And we're like, an hour and a half. Why do you need that? Why do you need that long? Like, whatever, maybe he's just an unorganized person, whatever. But the thing is, though, like, we knew something was up right there and then because an hour and a half, this guy's a mechanic. He's selling a truck. He said he sold multiple trucks before, and he doesn't even have a title on him. Doesn't have the title with him. Like, okay, this is, uh, this is kind of, you know, iffy, but we're like, yeah, maybe just an organized person, like I said. And, you know, he's like, go have to go eat somewhere or something, and I'll give you guys a call when I find the title. We're like, all right, whatever. And so we uh, we go to around the corner from his house, right? He's got the subdivision and then, like, a main street right here, and then there's a little Whole Foods little store type thing next to practically right next to his house right we sit in the parking lot waiting a little bit and after an hour goes by we're sitting here like oh is this guy gonna call us back or text us whatever and then like eh, whatever so about an hour and 15 uh, about an hour and 10 10 15 minutes whatever goes by we see him leave his house okay with his truck not the guy not the guy he's trying or the truck he's trying to sell but his personal truck we're like okay why is this guy leaving now we're really like oh so why is this guy leaving? He should be looking for the freaking title. He leaves for like five minutes. Five minutes go by. We see him pull, go back to his house. We're like, oh, maybe he left it at his mom's house or whatever. But the thing is, though, this guy said that he's only lived there for, he just moved there. And he's had the truck for five months, but he said he just moved there. And we're like, eh, okay, whatever. And he texts us back exactly an hour and a half later. You know, he's like, hey, I found it. And then when we get there, okay, we're like, oh, cool, whatever. Get there. 
the truck is running okay the truck is running and we're like okay why is the truck running oh yeah oh well maybe he's just being kind of generous starting it up maybe to let it warm up i don't know we didn't think too much of it but at first we we're kind of like a uh, kind of sketched out and you know they made the deal hand the money hand the title and this guy's title was super super clean like it was like it, he said it was in a pile of papers but that was the it's like you just printed off a piece of paper that's how clean it was and you know and the title that my friend mentioned he's like yeah it's a duplicate title so we're like hmm kind of still kind of fishy about this and you know we get the you know we got we got the truck right and the guy they let's shake hands we sign stuff and then he goes back inside back into his house he just hurry up and leaves and goes back into his house me and my buddy jump in the truck my buddy's like yeah i'm super excited you know i'm like yeah i'm pretty excited too and then he like turns the wheel a little bit he's like hmm like he's like he like turn the wheel a little bit and then he's saying hmm sounds like it has a bad alternator then he turn the wheel all the way over and do 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 truck you know cuts out we're like what the fuck and so my buddy turns the wheel back to straight whatever or no sorry he tries to turn it on sorry and nothing happens it sounded like the starter was working but the truck wouldn't like turn on so at this point we're like this motherfucker so we tried starting it like two more times nothing happened whatsoever my buddy gets out of the truck he slams the door he goes over to the guy the guy's like yeah man it's just the thick um it's probably just the thick um whatever and he gets the starter fluid blows it into the intake you know it starts right up my buddy's like yeah but when you turn the wheel turns all the way over and then the boom truck uh, stalls out and the guy got the truck running again and uh starts giving it a lot of gas like you just like slam on the gas and then says let go of the gas the truck would turn off and we're like all right motherfucker why the hell do you why the hell are you trying to scam us and he's like it's He's like, man, it's the thickum, dude. He kept on going back and forth. It's the thickum, it's the thickum, it's the thickum. But the thing is, on the Craigslist website, he never mentioned that it was there was a thickum problem or what the fuck you want to call it. We're like, okay, we want our money back. The guy's like, oh yeah, if you come tomorrow or later tonight when it's colder, you could probably get it home. I'm like, the fuck you mean you probably can get it home? But should we be able to take it right now and have it be started? And and uh, we. Uh, you know, he gives us he gives us the money back. He tells us, "Hey, you can come get it tomorrow, whatever." When it's cold, we're like, "No, dude, we don't want the fucking truck." And so now we come to realize that, hey, you know, why did the guy want us to turn off the truck when we got back from back from test driving it? And then we realize, okay, maybe when the truck is too hot, it doesn't want to run. So when it's cold, he let the truck cool down. That's why he's an hour and a half. And this guy mentioned that his grandma came and helped him out with the, finding the title and stuff. But we saw this motherfucker leave, and he guaranteed he had it the whole time. He just he just wanted to, you know, let the truck cool down. This guy tried scamming us really bad, and then he kept on. He said that oh, if he would have replaced the thick of himself, he probably would have sold it for a couple more thousand more. But it's like, okay, why didn't you do that then? Why did you play? Why didn't you play smart ball? And. This guy lived in a nice house, and he said that he needed money for fire training, but he lived in a nice house on this big-ass truck and shit, and this guy was a fucking scam. You know, like, no, fuck this guy, because he completely fucking scammed us, you know, wasted a bunch of our time. It was about an hour and a half drive there. We waited an hour and a half, and an hour and a half drive back. So, yeah, don't be this fucking guy. Um, now, this is a story. Hope you guys enjoyed, uh, I know it's kind of a long one, but this guy was a fucking scam. Never try to scam people. If you try to sell a car, just be honest with them. If it's a shit box, just tell them a shit box. And, uh, don't try to fucking get people fucking in accidents because we gotta take the highway home if we would have bought the truck. And so, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you slap that like button. Leave a comment. If you guys enjoyed this story, make sure you let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.